Hi boys and girls, it's teacher Cece here, back to share with you some new ways that you can take care of the beautiful and amazing women in your life and celebrate them on Mother's Day. So before we start our day, I just want to remind you that we're going to do a froggy kiss and then we're going to read a book and then we're gonna write a little note, and then we're gonna do a picture walk, and then before we go, we'll wish well to our friends and so that they know that we are still thinking about them and that we are wishing them well and hope that they are safe at home with their families. The first thing I wanted to do is welcome you back with the froggy kiss. So before we do the froggy kiss, just kind of think about where you want your froggy kiss today. Maybe you want it here. Maybe you want it here. Maybe you want it here. Whatever, you, whatever your wish is, just think. Know that Teacher Cece is giving you a froggy kiss. You've been gone and you've been missed. Where would you like your froggy kiss? Mm -hmm. All right. Welcome back, boys and girls. All right. So before. Just like I said, we're going to read a book. I have two books about moms. This one is called My Mommy and Me. And look at that mom and child bond on the cover. They look so joyful. And this one is called I Love My Mommy Because. And look at this child just loving on the kitties. And this mom over here is giving her baby kitty a bath by licking him the top of their head. So we'll start with My Mommy and Me. This book is a lift the flap story. It has some hidden pictures on the pages. And this book is written by Laura Tracer. Tracer. My mommy loves me. She wakes me up with kisses. Look at that. That's kind. My mommy always packs me some treats to eat. Hey, do you remember when some of your families would bring snacks for you and your friends to have at school? Wow, our families are really great, aren't they? Oh, I forgot the flap. And sometimes I get special surprises and look at to, on this day. She happened to bring him a cupcake with a special red heart on it. And look at how happy the mouse was to receive that. Makes you feel good when people do kind things for you. Sometimes I help my mommy. This is a clothesline. I bet some of you might not have a clothesline at your house because a lot of us have a dryer to dry our clothes and some of us we don't use this, but you know what? When I was little, I used to help my mom hang clothes up like this in our backyard. And then we play together after we do our chores. My mommy always comes back for me or my dad or my grandma after school and gives me hugs, right? She teaches me new things. I know that some of you have been baking at home with your families. I know that you're making pink princess popcorn. I know that you're making cupcakes. I know you're making corn muffins. I know you've made pancakes. Some of you made Play-Doh with your families. I know that you're doing things at home like this mouse and the mouse's mom are. And mommy's love makes everything sweeter. We like to do things together. And then look at here. And do things for each other. The mouse picks some flowers to give to the mom. She's so excited. Look at her. My mommy reads me stories. And she tucks me in and says, I love you. Every day is Mother's Day for my mommy and me. And look at this little mouse made a card that said, I love mommy. The end. 
All right, so if you look up here, I have a chart, some chart paper, and we're going to write a letter together. I'm going to write mine to my mom, and then after this video, maybe you can ask your grown, a grown-up or your big sister or big brother or your dad or your Theo or whoever's there or your Thea to help you make a card so that you can give it to somebody special on Mother's Day. So I'm going to write mine for my mom because I think that would make her really happy. So I'm going to start my letter off with dear mom because I call her mom. Maybe you call your mom mommy or mama, whatever it is that you call your mom, you can write that. But I'm going to write mom because that's how I address my mom. So I'm going to put dear Dear Mom, we just want to make sure you can see Mom. Dear Mom, and I'm going to put I love you. So I'll put I love you, and I'm going to put because. And I just really want to say that I love her for a lot of reasons, but mainly because she's very kind and supportive of me whenever I want to try new things. She always supports me and cheers me on. In this book here, it says, I love my mommy because, and then this is the one with the child, and there's on the pictures, it's a really fast book, so don't worry. It just gives you some really great ideas. And then look, there's a mom and a child. So maybe you can say, I love my mommy because she reads me stories. Uh, she listens when I talk. And she feeds me when I'm hungry. She keeps me nice and clean. Takes me for a ride. Swims with me. Gives me great big hugs. Keeps me safe and warm. Takes me for a walk. She lets me play in the mud. She's big and strong. And she comes when I call her. I love my mommy because she is brave. She is not afraid of the dark. She tucks me in, and she rocks me to sleep. I love my mommy, and my mommy loves me. So think about that. So I'm going to put, I love you because you are kind. And I'm going to make my you, the word you, are kind. And then I'm going to put, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. And then I always end my letters with love, CC. And to make it really pretty, because this is just kind of plain, I'm going to just make her a little flower, and I make my flowers like this. I draw a circle. First, you draw your circle, and then I draw circles around the circles. Two, three, four, five. So I draw my circle around it, and then I'm going to make her a heart, too, because I think she would really like it if I made her a heart. And then maybe you want to draw her a rainbow. Maybe you can draw her a rainbow. I'll draw a little rainbow here. I just need maybe some purple and orange. Remember, you just do the best you can. And maybe I'll draw her that rainbow. And I have a beautiful card to give to my mom. I know that you can't write a lot of these words, but that's why you can find somebody at your house to help you.
big sister, big brother, cousin, tia, tío, whoever you can help you help. Whoever you can have help you works great. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoy your weekend and I hope you have fun making these cards for the amazing women in your life. And to all of our amazing families, moms, tias, grandmas, happy Mother's Day to you and I hope you enjoy your wonderful weekend. I'll see you next time, boys and girls. Hands on your heart. We wish you well. We wish you well. All through the day today, we wish you well. We wish our friends well. We wish our friends well. All through the day today, we wish you well. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you on Monday.